Hello. In this video, I will show you how and when to use the absolute, relative, and mixed cell referencing in Microsoft Excel. This is the sample data that we have. These are exam scores from three different subjects. First that we need to do is to get the total of each subject for the four exams. To do that, go to the first cell to calculate the total. I'm going to use a shortcut key by pressing Alt and the equal sign. This automatically inserts the sum formula to get the total of the values on the first row. Press Enter and the total is displayed. Double-click the plus icon here to perform the same calculation on the succeeding rows. If I click on the first row here, it shows the formula that says the values are from cells B4 to E4. If I click on the last row here, it shows the formula that says the values are from cells B6 to E6. That is the relative cell referencing. The reference cells are moving down as my formula goes down. Now, let's say I need to calculate the percentage of each exam in comparison to the total. The first thing I need to do is to calculate the total by using the shortcut keys ALT and equal sign. To calculate the percentage, I'll go here and then press the equal sign to enter the formula. Click on the first total and divide that by the total. Press enter and change the data type to percentage. If I pull down the plus icon, it should give me the percentage of the succeeding rows. Microsoft Excel shows the hashtag div slash zero error when a number is divided by zero. Looking at the formula, it is dividing the value to an empty cell which should be the total value. To fix that, we have to apply the absolute cell referencing. Add a dollar sign to the row and the column references. To do that, press F4 on the first row percentage. Tip. Pressing F4 once adds dollar sign to both the row and column. Twice adds dollar sign to the row. Thrice adds dollar sign to the column. The fourth time removes the dollar sign. Now, let's see. The calculation is correct. What the dollar sign did is it fixed the column reference as well as the row reference, so it does not move down. We have the mixed cell referencing here. The first part is relative and the other part is absolute. Now, I need to calculate the percentage of each exam for each subject. What we'll do is copy the information and paste it on the other side. Remove the previous values. To calculate the percentage, we need the value of each exam and divide it by the total of all exams per row or subject. Enter the equal sign, select the values to be calculated, then press enter. Change the data type to percentage. Pulling the plus sign will calculate the next cells. In this case, the calculation is not correct because the reference cells in the formula are moving. To fix this, let's apply absolute cell referencing. Press F4. Now, pull the cells across and see if the calculation is correct. We now have the correct values. To calculate the values for the next rows, pull the plus sign down. Check if the calculation is correct. Since we applied the absolute cell referencing, the calculation was fixed to cell F4 when it is supposed to be referencing cells F5 and F6 respectively. Let's fix the formula. 
We need to keep only the cell F, but the reference cell must be moving. Remove the dollar sign before the cell number. Then pull the plus sign across and down. The cells are now calculating correctly. That's it for today. Thank you.